Hey everyone, it's Cassandra, and so far, here is how my grandchildren, my granddaughter's rooms are looking. As you all know, my Coraline and my Destiny are big unicorn fans, so this is dedicated for just this little headdress here. It's very special to Coraline. We just brought all of her toys in here, and she is straightening up her little doll hat. Well, it's not so little. Her Barbie dream house that Grandma and Grandpa bought her for Christmas one year. And she's got her little rabbit house that she's <laughs> redoing. And she's got a little collection of LOL dolls and what else? OMG dolls. OMG dolls. So I'm going to get her, I'm going to try to find her some little shelves to put her OMG and LOL dolls on because she loves them so much. And, um, she's got her life-size Barbie right here. And this picture is so special to me, guys. This was in my daughter's playroom when she was a little girl. And it says, Angels Play Here. And it was in their previous room that they had when, uh, before we moved over here. It was in the other room that the, I had dedicated just for them. And then, I, of course, I had to put this picture up. In a field of horses be a unicorn. Isn't that just gorgeous? And what I'm going to do for Coraline, <clears throat> because this is kind of like her corner right here of the bedroom. Um, there, right above her Barbie dream house, I am getting her a canvas professional uh, picture of Barbie. The actual Barbie. And I think that would just be awesome because she loves Barbie, too. She loves her OMG and LOL dolls, but she also loves Barbie. As you can see, she's always telling me, Grandma, I need more Barbies and more Barbie clothes. <laughs> and these are her special stuffed animals. I don't like for my grandkids to have a whole lot of stuffed animals, but the very special ones, I do let them keep, and I do have to wash them constantly and Lysol them. And this one's very, very special because this was Summer's. And the reason Summer loved Octi so much is because this was the same one that uh, Bubbles had in the Powerpuff Girls. And my daughter Summer was a big Powerpuff Girl fanatic. And so she had Octi on her bed just like Bubbles did. <laughs> so this will never go anywhere. Now, I cannot wait to get their bed in here. Once I get their bed in here and their curtains hung up and their two nightstands, it's pretty much going to be good to go. Now, this old TV is still a great TV, and my husband said we got to get the girls a PlayStation so they can have Netflix and Hulu and play video games. So I'm going to get them a st uh, TV stand that matches their bed. So after that, their room will pretty much be complete. I'm going to get one picture to go above their bed, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do floating shelves here or... Uh, a picture, but I do know that this area is just going to be clean. Um, there's going to be a nightstand here, bed, nightstand, so I don't want to overcrowd it, and then I'm going to have to get a, you know, a small TV stand that matches their bed for right here, and that's going to pretty much fill up this room. So I'll probably get either some floating shelves or another picture. I'm going to ask Destiny what she wants because if they want a couple of floating shelves on this wall to put some of their collectibles on i know destiny was telling me she really wanted to have um some powerpuff girl oh lord i can't let y'all see me like it i got on a shirt see-through lord i can't let <laughs> let me get out of the mirror but anyway um i'm if destiny wants some floating shelves to put her powerpuff girl uh dog collection on and if Coraline wants uh, floating shelves for her OMG and LOL dolls. I'll do that. If they don't want that, then I'm just going to put a pretty picture right here and just be done with it. And their room is pretty much good to go. And Coraline, tell Grandma, are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> Already, and it ain't even done. So I'm just, I just wanted to show you some of the progress. You know, like I got that picture hung up and... I got Coraline's unicorn headband hung up, and I got Destiny's little Paris thing in here. And I got this hung up because it's so special to me. 
And I just, I love what it says, angels play here, because my daughter was a total angel. My son was a total angel. My grandkids are total angels. I mean, they really, they really were. And I just, I just simply brought all of Coraline's toys in here for her. So she's happy. She, it's clean. I scrubbed these walls. I scrubbed the baseboard. I mean, let me tell y'all, I have been cleaning. I shampooed the carpets myself um, with some shampoo cleaner. And then I vacuumed, shampooed, and vacuumed again. And, of course, I cleaned the full-length mirror doors. And it smells so clean and fresh in here now. I Cloroxed the walls. I cleaned the windows. I mean, I just went into a frenzy. Um, I, you know, like I cleaned all the base, all around the parameter of the room. I scrubbed the baseboards. And, and my daughter, she just, she wasn't nasty or anything. My daughter's a clean freak like I am. But where she stayed gone so much with her modeling, you know, and I, I don't mess with her room because I, I have taught her how to clean, how to do her laundry, how to cook. She's a woman. She can do it herself. But she didn't. So <laughs> when she got everything out of here, I had to come in here and really deep clean. So it smells really good in here. It's really fresh. Um, the carpet's nice and clean. It's, it's, it just smells so good in here. It's so fresh. It's so clean. And the toys don't look as bad in here. So as you can, you can understand now why I'm wanting to get her a toy box. And I'm going to have to get a long one. One that's long and, and wide for her toys. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. But it'll be a box that she'll never outgrow. I'm going to have her name put on it. I'm going to have Coraline's name put on it. And the top of it's going to double as a seat. So when we sit it here in front of the window, it can also double as a window seat, which I think is a really cool idea that I had. And so she's going to play in her room. She's very happy. And I'm going to keep you updated on, on my progress. As soon as their bed and their uh, box spring and mattress and their nightstands get here, I can't wait to show you that. I can't wait to show you the bedspread I've picked out, the curtains that I've, that I've picked out. It's a work in progress. Things are being put on hold for a little while because of the coronavirus uh, and the pandemic that we're under. So that may take a, a little while before I can post a video of that. As soon as I get my stuff delivered, it will be great. But I'm going to keep you updated. And what I can't wait is to take you for a whole apartment home tour when I get everything done and everything in its place and everything clean. And then I want to take you and show you my brand new, completely redone home. I'm so excited. I can't hardly wait. I'm just bursting with just happiness and love. I love decor. And that looks good, sweetie. I just got to get the shoes. Well, that looks good with your, with your little dollies in there. <laughs> that looks good in there too, baby. I'm just going to fix up that. And Ken's in the bed. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that looks pretty, baby. Okay, blessings, love, and light, everyone. Peace and love. Did you done the peace and love? Yes, you want to do the peace and love?